Hey guys, what's going on? Nathan here. Welcome back to another Pixelmon video, episode 8, and today we're going to be taking on Surge, third gym leader of Kanto, known for his electricity types. Just want to say before we start this episode though, I actually um, just did some exploring and went into the Pokemon fan club, which was I think that one over there, and he actually gave me a bike voucher, which I completely forgot about. And basically, you get you got to choose between what animal you wanted, so I went with the white horse, and I also spent the coins on getting all this stuff. Um, so, I'm going to spawn it, actually, I'm not going to spawn it yet because I've just started the gym, so I'll do it after the gym, so, actually, yeah, yeah, we'll leave it there. Oh, I'm also in creative, that is just a fly over there, I didn't cheat, because obviously my levels are still stayed the same, um, and we've got all the same stuff, and also you may have noticed, actually, that is one thing, we actually did get ourselves a tentacle, because like I said, I wanted to do some training off screen, so I used the good rod and caught a tentacle, I haven't really trained it much, that's that. But yeah, it looks kind of weird. Well, actually, it actually looks pretty cool. I want to know. Oh, what the fuck is? Oh, it's his tentacles. Oh my god, that is creepy. Come back here. Um, so let's see if this cut HM will actually work. So, all right, guys, we're back. Um, I've just had to go into creative mode and fly over there because cut doesn't seem to be working. But you know that we have actually got the the TM a uh, HM cut, so we're fine. Here's our little dude. That match was electric. I haven't even faced him yet. It's, all right, it doesn't look promising. All right. Um, hopefully these trainers <coughs> want to battle me. Yep, they do. Danny, Danny is eager to battle. So oh, again, see, Mankey, see, Mankey. No offense, but he's been useless recently. Like all the Pokemon he's come up, come up against have like been his moves haven't been that effective. I actually maybe taken that back because he's about to take down a level 21 Pikachu. Not nicely done. That is pretty good, Mankey. I will give you that. Um, was he actually attacking though? I'm not sure if he's even attacking. Oh no, okay, he's attacking. Okay, Mankey, well done. I may be a bit harsh on you, but that's because I know that you'll come out fighting strong. So there we go. Wow, okay, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, hello, Nidorino. <laughs> um, Kingsley, okay, Pikachu. Can... Alright, yeah, we could take down this first time. That... Oh, no. Uh, okay, let's, let's try Nidorino, see if he can do it. He's got cut now, so that should help him a bit. Yeah, see, his, his attack is quite weak right now. Oh, come... I can't risk that. He's going to attack last, so... Uh, we're going to have to send out Charmeleon. I think, he'll, I think Charmeleon will be very close to evolving. I might, I, might, I might actually just use Charmeleon, really, if I'm honest. Oh my god, I'm not sure that's a glitch, that's a lot of coins. That's actually what I'll do, because they've all fainted, and I'm just going to switch and probably get him to evolve. Because when he's Charizard, that would just be total beast. I can probably take the whole game on, do what those speedrunners do, and just like use the starter Pokemon. But make it a bit more simplified, not going for natures and stuff. I kind of always think, oh, oh, oh there are the switches, I think. Just take down, is that Gary? No, it's Tucker. Okay, um, what, what does this do? Alright, and this. Alright, okay, so it's just simple that. Um, well, I'm going to heal my Pokemon up, actually, because I don't want to risk um, dying, so this will teleport me back outside, because apparently I need cut. There we go, thank you very much. Um, but I've, still to this day, I still think, what is the significance of having natures? I know what they are for, like, trust me, I've been in the competitive scene before, and it's like, natures have a rise stat and a lower stat, and that essentially, they people brag that they're vital for... Uh, Competitive battling, which they are. Like, for example, I can give you some tips right now. A Gibble, you want a Jolly Nature, because that's a rising attack. Uh, if you're going for a Mudkip, you're going to want a, a, a Hard, no, not Hardy. Hardy, it's Adamant? I think Adamant Nature. Um, but hold on. LT Surge, here we go. Hey, kid, what do you think you're doing? You won't live long in combat, not with your puny power. I tell you, kid, electric Pokemon save me during the war. They zap my enemies into Paralysis. Paralysis. The same as I'll do to you. Oh, right. oh, okay. Straight into the battle. And um, why is he already hit? I didn't, might even complain. Okay, Voltorb. Look at that. That is just incredible. Okay, Dragon Rage again. Gee, oh my god, I'm, I'm wrecking his deck. I guess I'm level 33, but... Oh, alright. <laughs> that was like a bit of a... Uh, what, what would you call it? A bit of an anti-climax. Hello, Surge. Now that's a shocker. You're the real deal, kid. Fine then, take the Thunder Badge. The Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon Pixelmon speed. It also lets your Pixelmon fly lightning quick any time, kid. You're special, kid. <laughs> take this TM Shockwave. Not available in the game. Oh, it's a shame. And we got the Thunder Badge, so just, guys, you're going to see the makings of my videos. Let's get, um, okay, we want him, I think, in the middle, because I'll pick for our thumbnail, and let's just do that. And we want to side shot that. Smile for me, Surge. Uh, a bit back. Like, like, oh, there we go. Oh, no, did I take it? I just do it again. 
Alright, thank you very much, Serge. You might be in one of the thumbnails which will gain a millions of views, so you should be proud of that. <laughs> so, here we go. Anyway, this is the Thunder Badge. Let's put it in our... Oh, we got Thunderbolt. Okay, I'll take Thunderbolt. I need it. That's like a really, that's a really great move. Um, I'm not... Can, I, can anyone learn that now? I don't think they can, actually. Let me just move some things around. Put the Thunder Badge there. Open this up. Oh, that's my TM bag. I'm on the wrong one. Oh, oh. No! Why the hell is this bad luck happening to me? Oh god, now I have to suck. Uh, what is this waypoint? Stop. Don't worry, Badge. I'm coming for you. Oh, why is it so deep? Oh, I got it. I think I got it. Oh my god, that was uh, a scare. This, this episode's been quite unlucky so far, guys. Oh, anyway. We, this, this town just wants me out, I think. It didn't want me on the SS and it didn't want me there, so... There we go. Okay, we're good to go now. Back into adventure mode. At least we're not cheating though. So there we, so we go with the boulder badge from Brock, Cassade badge from Misty, and now the thunder badge from Alti Surge. Uh, and I'm gonna... If Charmeleon could learn it. Oh. Can you learn it? Can you stop running about? I thought this is how you learn them. Okay, I think he can. Oh, sh I, don't, I don't want him to learn it though. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. See, sometimes it just... Alright. Charmeleon. Out you come. Oh, okay, you can't learn, but Nidorino can actually. Um, so it's only it's one time use, but am I? I think I'm actually going. I'm going to be using Nidorino, so yeah, I'm going to teach it to him. I'll just check if Mankey can learn it though. I don't think he he'll be able to. Oh, okay, he can. So, I think in terms of attacks right now though, I'm just going to teach it to Nidorino because I think he'll benefit from that. So I'm going to get rid of Leah. And there we go. He learned Thunderbolt. Um, okay, return, return. Oh no, why can't? Do I have to, oh, do I have to select him? Return, there we go. Alright, um, we're going back to what I was saying before. I really, how, I just don't see how nature's can make such a significant difference in battle. Like, I guess it does make some. Like, it's like they say, no two Pokemon are alike. But, just from having a different in stat, I don't see how it can be improved, you know? Like, just by a bit. But, anyway, I think, I always get confused in this game now, because there was a Snorlax walking the way. Um, let's go, oh, uh, let's go this way now and just see what we have to do. That's obviously Diglett's cave, which I don't want to profess his aids is through there, but let's just leave that for now. Let's do some training. There's the ginger, which had is I'm not sure if it was literally a joke, but look, no soul, level zero. This is this crashed my game last time, so we're just gonna go in it full force. Uh alright, and oh yeah, I thought we have flame burst. We have a lot Charm this Charmeleon is I'm not joking, it's pretty bossy. Okay, let's send out Nidorino and see if he's finally good enough to defeat a Pokemon. Thunderbolt should knock it out. Oh yes, that, that is what I'm looking for. Fuck you, Ginger. Alright, um, <laughs> um, Eddie now, Ecans, we'll just do a Flame Burst. Nicely done. That's an e I'm talking about Ecans, there's one right there. Another Ecans, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep with Charmeleon because, um, I just wanna see him evolve. And, you know, this would be like the quickest, I think this is the f fastest I probably would have evolved my starter on this game anyway. And that's probably because I've been like abusing him, like using him all the time. Level 34. Okay, two levels to go. Alright, um, there's a lot of trainers here, they're all just clumped up, but I'm not going to complain. It shows that at least, you know, what, what Charmeleon is very over-leveled, but, oh, he's amazing. I've actually been playing a Mega, my Mega Ruby more, um, the past two days, because I got it for Christmas, and I also got another game, and I, I actually stopped playing it, because I, it wasn't that I didn't want to, but there was other things I'd rather do, like play a GTA and COD and stuff. But I just didn't really feel like it, because... I'm a massive fan. Gen 3 is my favourite gen. It was the game I grew up with, and that's why I really was looking forward to playing it. But I guess, in some ways, it is just a remake of the game, just better graphics. But I'm a lot more into. I, I know. I just found like, it was not as I thought it would be, and there's a lot of things actually which I'm quite annoyed about. Not that I don't like. I think it's awesome. Like, I think rec recently I just actually defeated the third gym in that game, which was Watson, which was also electric. Um, and uh, I'll just give a tiny spoiler alert right now. Marvel City is entirely different. That's all. Was. It's not really a spoiler, but it's just to say it isn't. It isn't remade. It's literally massively different, you know. And it's it, it's actually quite nice. I will admit, but I preferred it if it was just the same. I think I think that's. I think people who play people who were like never played it before. It's a great game, but to people who have, I I got it mainly because I wanted to see go back to nostalgia but also with the better graphics to see how they would remake it and I think I'm expecting and like a lot of people else are expecting it to be exactly the same just really cool you know but it isn't exactly that you know so it's a bit 
it's a bit different, but it, it is quite good. I will give it credit. It's still a great game, and we'll see how it goes. I've got actually a really weird team for what I normally have. I have oh Sandshrew. Uh, I don't want that. And that's Ecans. That's Ecans. And that's still Sandshrew. Yeah. Um, I I've got a my Tiana. Uh, I've got I went with Mudkip, so I've now got a Marsh Stomp. That's the Pokemon. I mean, do I have any Pokemon? I need to buy some Great Balls. I'll buy some of them. And uh, they should have them now. Yeah, I've got my Tiana, a Marsh Stomp. Um. What else do I have? I'm on my own team. Oh, a Talo. A Vigorath. That's how you pronounce it. I did have a cosplay Pikachu, but I returned that because I didn't feel right about having it. It kind of feels like a cheat. And there's some others. Oh, and a Nuzleaf. And some really creative names. Oh, and a Tentacle. There you go. And that's probably why I've got one here. Uh, anyway, let's go uh, in here. There's Officer Janie. Are you going to let me pass? If you're aiming to reach Leventown, take Rock Tunnel. You can't get to Rock Tunnel from Cerulean City. Oh, yeah, I know what to do now. We have to go back to Cerulean. Yeah, see, and we have to, we have to use Cut. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. He's actually blocking the way. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, yep. That's fine. All right, let's make... Whoa. Was that just... Oh, I thought it was, like, a street lighting. That was really awesome. I really love the lights in this game. Like, they're really cool. Anyway, let's go back, I suppose. And we're going to have to make it... Oh, ooh, drowsy. I don't really like drowsies though. Oh, there's an item here I missed. What is it? Awakening. That isn't that bad, I suppose. Oh, let's, let's do our horse right now, because that that's this is when we need our bike. So, if I, is this what I do? No. What do I actually do then? I thought this is what... Oh, I have to right-click, don't I? No, I don't. What do I do? Oh, that's a map. This is what I traded in my, my bike voucher for. This is always so many problems arising. It says white horse, so I don't know if I have to... Do I put it in here? No. I don't think you'd have to do any crafting. Oh, I'll look into that later. Um, let's go to the Pokemon now, though, before I forget. Hello, sir. Trade. You're still not selling me Great Balls. You're, you're killing me here. Let's just buy some potions anyway, though. Uh, let's just buy five of them. All right. Um, so uh, let's go to Serena City. I'm not going to cut it because you love seeing the adventure with me. And look how fast... Oh. Alright, Izzy, you you didn't want to bat on me before. Okay, I've healed my Pokemon up. Um, oh, I'm Radicate. I didn't know trainers could re-battle like that. That's pretty cool. Alright. Why are these all battling? I mean, oh! It's because, obviously, as this is a newer version of the map, all these ba all these trainers I battled um, obviously want to battle me again. So, I actually, I'll do this, because that means we'll see Charmeleon evolve. Which will be brilliant, because that's what you guys want to see. Um, obviously, they're a bit, they're easy to take on these battle uh, these trainers. I should probably these this is, these trainers are actually perfect for my lower level Pokemon, but we want to see Charmeleon evolved. Oh, here we go, and we're about to see it happen. Can I type in a click? Charmeleon is evolving. This is what we wanted to see, and this is episode eight in, so it isn't that bad. Oh, I really hope he becomes large, like not in a rude, you know. It's just, like I hope he becomes big, like a massive strong Pokemon. Here we go. So that's the size right now. Let's see how big that goes to. Alright, that, that's pretty awesome, I will admit. Oh my god. Does anyone learn? Oh, wing attack. We'll get rid of Growl. Oh, and Andy will we'll do wing attack on you. Boom. <laughs> Let's get him out. No, fuck off, Nina Reno. You're not one. No, I'm sorry. I meant to value my team. But just look at that. I'm sorry. That's awesome. But he's, he's got a pretty awesome moveset for only level 36. Flame Burst, Wing Attack, Fire Fang, and Dragon Rage. They're pretty good stats, I will admit. But with that, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. It's a nice end to the episode, and in the next episode, we're going to be making our way to the east of Cerulean City and start making our way through Rock Tunnel, which would be a blast. I always hate going through there. So thank you so much, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a rating. It's much appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.